Hello and welcome. Today we're going to look at all the transitions in Shotcut. Let's just enable the playlist and drag in some videos. Here we go. Next up we're going to enable the timeline and just drag the videos in there. I'm going to delete all the space between the clips and I'll cut them shorter so we can see the transitions one after the other rather quickly. Each one to five seconds. Yeah, that's good. And if at some point you can't drag clips in there, just save a project and restart it. All right, here we are, all the clips are ready. I'm just gonna go back here, mute the audio. Gonna get rid of the playlist. And now I'm just gonna drag each clip a little bit onto the neighboring clip, so we have uh, this automatic crossfade between them. This is what happens automatically. I'm gonna play around with the durations of these, but they're gonna be mostly, a, a, well, between half and one and a half seconds. All right, there we go. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight transitions. And we can change them. It does not have to be a crossfade. Let me just save a project, Control S, and I'm gonna enable properties over here. So while you have a transition selected and the properties panel is open, you can change the type of transition over here. What I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna hide the toolbar and title bar so we can have maximum viewing space. And we probably all know what a dissolve looks like. It basically just fades between the two videos. All right. But what we can do instead is select all these other transitions and take a look at them. Oh boy, all right. Now I created each transition once. You can even have custom ones, but we're gonna look at that later. I left all the settings at default. You can also invert them to make them go the other way. You can also make them affect audio. Some of them have position and some of them have softness settings. But we're just gonna look at all of them with the default values. So let's go. First, a cut. Not even sure why this exists, but you can control what point it cuts in the transition. We're just gonna keep going and uh, I'm not gonna interrupt anymore. Next one, bar horizontal. Next, bar vertical. There you go. Next, barn door horizontal. Next, bar door vertical. Next, barn door diagonal southwest northeast. Next, barn door diagonal northwest southeast. Next, diagonal top left. Next, diagonal top right. Next, matrix waterfall horizontal. Next, matrix waterfall vertical. Then, matrix snake horizontal. Then, matrix snake parallel horizontal. Then, matrix snake vertical. Then, matrix snail parallel vertical. Then, barn V up. Then, iris circle. Then, double iris. Now, iris box. Box bottom right. Box bottom left. Box right center. And clock top. That's it. Let's take a uh, clock top. Yeah, let's take a look at clock top, for example. You see how soft it is? We can completely remove the softness. And what we will see then is a very sharp edge. And if we crank up the softness to 100, oh boy, wow, this is like a total, completely different feel. Nice. Matrix snake vertical. Ah, huh, interesting one. Let's see, if we change the settings, softness to 0%, then it just kind of looks unpleasantly uh, computer screen graphics update-y, uh, like vertical synchronization issue. If we completely softenize it. Ah, oh, nice. Nice little pixelation effect. Uh, matrix waterfall horizontal looks like this by default. Yeah, it's pretty much the same effect, kind of. Let's... Uh, let's... No, no softness. Let's try this. 
And if we do it invert wipe, then it will go just from bottom to up. So you can invert each of these. All right, what do we have here? We have a diagonal top left wipe. Very nice. But we can make it uh, less soft or super soft. And of course, we can invert it. There we go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to look at the custom transitions. We're going to create this rather long transition. It's about two and a half seconds long. And I'm just going to make a black and white uh, image. So we have black on white. I'm not even sure if that's the right direction, but we're going to just go with one on one. We can always reverse it. And now I'm just going to apply blur, blur, blur. Let's go for 128. This is a 1080p uh, image. Let's blur it some more, and some more, and some more, and some more. I think that ought to be enough. So we're going to save this. I'm just going to call this one transition.png. Now in shortcut, let's just save a project. I'm impressed it didn't crash yet. No offense. And now we have this uh, transition.png file here. Let's uh, select it. Let's set this transition to custom. And here we have uh, this option to select an image here, transition.png. Very nice. And let's disable the softness for now and just take a look at it. <laughs> this is extra cool because of, in the background we have fire, so it kind of burns into the screen. So yeah, I was right. The black is uh, like where it starts and the white is where it ends. We can, of course, in inverse this and it uh, doesn't really, it's not as good. This was quite good. Yeah, you can't really make out the text, but if you know how it was made, you know, you, you know. What we can do also is I'm just going to create a new layer and generate some uh, noise. So I just created a white layer on top and let's do RGB noise and then colors desaturate. And I think I'm going to go for colors level and make it a bit darker. And then blur it. Let's go for four. Yeah. And now we're just going to pick one of the modes. Ah, I like this one. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's save it like this. So we just press Control E to overwrite the image. And uh, since it's the same image, let's see if it immediately updates. Nope, let's just restart the project then. Here we are, and uh, should be updated. Let's just go back here and play. Yep, now we have this nice uh, eating of a born border effect. That's what you can do with noise. Pretty cool. It's a bit immediate, so I shouldn't have used complete black, probably. And if we enable softness, yeah, it'll be a bit softer, of course. Ah, much better, much better. There we go. You should be able to use these with uh, images as well. If you want it to transit with a black background, just create file, open other, and then uh, in generator color, just select black. For some reason, the alpha value is at the, on the left. And just drag it in there. This clip is way too long. Let's cut it here, remove this. And just drag this on top. So while this is a crossfade, you can also just use fade out. You can change this to, well, barn, for example, barn. And then it'll work just like with other clips, but then you have it with the black background. All right, I hope this helped. Please enjoy the transitions and have fun making videos. Until next time, ciao!